Hell yeah, Johnny, or Johnny Bravo. I'm just trying to get readjusted to such a 20 because I've been playing with glitches. I would take it one day at a time. Can I? No, no worries, Jimin. No worries. Snipe versus rare relic versus boss versus remove. I think I like the rare relic. Let's take a look, though. This is like pretty interesting path. Is the rare relic gonna, the damage in the rare relic enough to survive an early lead and then do another sparkle? Perhaps. There's no shop along the way. Here has a shop and an elite, but then like the second half of the act is like terrible. No campfires, a lot of fights. I might go first place this weekend, but if you get the gang. Someone can play instead of, instead of me. Okay, that sounds good, Jimin. So there's no shop. This could be a shop. I think we want to get the sparkle out of the way if possible. Rare relic. Let's go for it. Ooh, pocket watch. Pocket watch is good. Pocket watch is good stuff. Right, let's take a look now. Let's take a look now. 46 life, 3 hallway fights. We're here, we got Let's go this way. Pocket watch is good. No questions about that. GG. I'll check in tomorrow just for the germs. Hey, take care, man. Good night. Streamline boot sequence. Notice how I just ignore claw. I feel like streamline, but streamline is awkward. I like I don't mind streamline, but it's also like I don't know, it feels like luster. It feels like luster, honestly. I feel like there's like a power curve and Streamline got left behind. Streamline got a little left behind. I mean, it's still nice. It does damage, right? And it gets... So, the second time you draw it, it's like a very valued card. Third time is amazing. I mean, Streamline is good for the boss. Alright. Yeah, we love streamline. Yeah, that's why you take streamline. Took it for a reason, guys. Go for the eyes or skip. Now, what's interesting is that on the turn where I don't play, when I don't have go for the eyes, I can activate pocket watch. Right? But the turn where I'm playing to go for the eyes, pocket watch is not activated, but we have enough card draw to make go for the eyes relevant sometimes. Just break my computer reinstalling Windows. That was all to get light split to auto split. <laughs> so, explain that to me. Light split can auto split. Wow, we got rip and tear auto shields. Interesting selections. Rip and Terror is damage. We want damage early. We're going for elites. Damage is nice. Auto Shield is good block, of course. We're going to need block for the Guardian. So, Auto Shield is for the Guardian. Rip and Terror is for the elites. You know? This is good for Triple Sentry. Good for the Guardian. Good for Lock of Vulin. Good for the elites as well, though. Would I rather have this or that for Lock of Vulin? I want this for the Guardian. Don't get me wrong. But we can start building for the Guardian now. We're gonna need block, consistent block. And auto shows I can get it. I can cycle back into a pocket watch. And Lag of Volin, you want block as well. But I'm lacking damage for Lag of Volin. I mean, Lag of Volin is just scary in general. I might not even be able to do two elites. Um, so do I take this for the Guardian now? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need block. 
Last bit auto splits in games like SS by reading files, but Windows reinforced let me an admin run last bit. You spent hours trying to change it, you had to end up reinstalling. Wow. Yeah, but with what damage though, you know? It's like. I would not skip here. I think auto and repetitive both have a place. I would not skip here. I'm sure this is very good for the Guardian. I don't have Frost right now, so. I want to go with the defensive approach because the three things of Essential 20, guys, it's defense, blood reduction, measured ambition, and Outer Shields is already huge. Get rid of Pocket Watch. Worth it. This is a tough fight, man. Floor 5, this is the fight. Yeah, I always said, man. Floor 5 fight, here it is. He might even steal my money. Cause I'm, I'm trying to protect my life total here. He might even steal my money. Streamline? He stole my money. Do you think this liquid member is worth 60 gold, guys? You think it's worth 60 gold? Where's the shop? There's no shop. Right? There's no shop in my immediate vicinity. And I need to fight an elite. And liquid members could be streamlined twice. If I upgrade streamline, that's streamlined twice. Gremlin knob is suddenly a lot easier. If I keep this potion. So yeah, I lose 60 gold. Which is a lot of gold. But liquid members maybe allows us to do the elite here. Could have played the fight different, maybe kill them earlier. I should have prioritized maybe fighting him. Charge battery versus this feels like a skip to me. I uh I'm gonna look at members stream on here. I could do pocket watch and draw back into it and succeed, or I could do dual cast and then make it much easier to kill him. Pocket watch allows me. The problem is my. Mm. Hmm. All right, the memories. You gave me a gun up fight. Barrage and darkness. Ooh, darkness, darkness, darkness. Ooh, I like darkness. Ooh, and I either fight another elite potentially. Wow, 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 wow. Sparkle. Oh yes! Oh, oh my lord, Regal Pillow is so good. Oh my. I want to get this going, but I also want to get darkness. I'm going to do this. That's just too good. And then what we're going to do is auto shields. Darkness, weaken. Pass. Keep keep doing Liquid Memories. Sorry, keep doing um. Bucket Watch here. Although, all right, so let's say I do a cast, let's say I full block, make sure I have decent block, I'll do this. And now we'll do streamline darkness here. watch GG Oof. oh my god guys 
It was clean. It was clean. It's gorgeous. So sweeping beam for AoE. Um yes. 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 For the guardian. She I should not shoot beam for this fight, because this like it's okay. This guy's knowing. Yeah, but I'm not getting even use beam here. I don't need to use beam here. Maybe I could have, but another power pot? Sure. Ooh, static discharge versus seek. Yowza. And now I want to upgrade Zap so that I can cycle my Dark Orb easier. But Zap is really awkward with um, Pocket Watch, however. And upgrading Seek is pretty valuable for Act 2. Playing a Power Pot. Now the question is to play one or two. I guess it depends on the Power Pot. So we have a lot of cycles. So we can cycle into Dark Orbs a lot. And can also cycle into uh, Auto Shields a lot. Um, machine Learning. With very nice. That's a, a nine card hand. It's a nine card hand, man. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Pocket watch. Pocket watch. It's fabulous. Let's weaken him. I can take a hit here. Shuman versus block. I'll block. Shuman is not that important. We're darkness in the picture here. Darkness is just a whole nother beast. Case in point. Darkness is a fiend. Oh, I think we have GG already, guys. I need to cast. It's GG already. It's disgusting how the pocket watch is. Whew. So we got uh, Core Surge, Echo Form, and All for One. All for One brings back Streamline on after the second time. Zap becomes an upgrade. Go for the Eyes comes back. Pocket Watch gets reduced in value. Uh, Core Surge is an artifact which is useful. Echo Form is very useful. We have Seek for Echo Form as well. I mean, I guess just see. I think it's just Echo Form here. Echo Sneko. We have Slavers, Nuclear, or Black Star. Um, I don't mind Slavers. I think we can manage the Elites. Sorry, the Hallway Fights without it. But I think if we want to beef up our Hallway Fights, we take Nuclear Battery, and then we ask ourselves, how quickly are we getting rid of the Plasma? And if the Plasma just provides Echo Form. Once Echo Form is in play, I mean, energy is not as important. But I forgot to mention, and I can't believe I fell into this trap. I can't believe I fell into this trap. I despise Echo Form Auto Shields. And I know for a fact, this is going to be a problem. I'm just not an all-for-one kind of guy anymore. At least, maybe I should have been. Hmm. If I go for Black Star, is this a 3 energy deck that can handle elites? With Darkness, Echo Form, and Pocket Watch, and Regal Pillar to cover my, cover my ass, yes, I can go for elites. 
and do black star. I could. We can do it sometime. Another time that day without point points, but right now I'm not doing it. But if you have points, sure, we can do it. But I, sometimes I do it without points, yeah. It's, it's rare. I want the immediate boost in energy here. Yeah, Pocket Watch Echo Form is all going to be awkward. We're, we're making up Pocket Watch fall off a little bit, but this is <coughs> an interesting death. I get two elites. Is this a two elite deck? The shop's over here. I can go this way. That's a lot of hallway fights. Three hallway fights to be exact. Where's the other one? Right here we have this. A later shop. Three elites. Three elites or another shop like this. I mean, this has options. It could be two elites or three elites. We get a really early elite. We get a shop. This gives me more vents. The shop is a little bit earlier. Uh, what other path do we have? We have this. That's not the path. So the path is here. And we have elite here. And we have the potential to do three elites or two elites and go for a shop here. It's not bad. Or um, here. And do two elites back to back. I'm going this path. Oh, that's a lot of hallway fights though. This has the event before the shop. This also has three fights before the shop, so I have more gold going into it. Well, I have more gold going into it. But here I have a Regal Pillow Valley before two elites. I'm gonna do this. What a turn. What a turn. Doesn't pick the route, it just I'm just using it to highlight for you guys. Doesn't pick the route. That lethal. <laughs> Cute. Cold snap. First frost of the game. First frost of the game. Pocket watch. Pocket watch. Oh my god. Look at this turn. Oh my god. Pocket watch. Guys. 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 This video is called Pocket Watch. No other title necessary. This is just Pocket Watch. Nothing else necessary. Practically full block and darkness is ready to unleash. Dual cast wins. This also is very good. I mean, I guess we already know Pocket Watch is amazing. One of the least fun relics. What? I, I'm having a great time with Pocket Watch. It's just, it's just everything. So, Equilibrium, Ball Lightning, Rebound. I love Equilibrium. It is top tier. Tungsten. Apotheosis with Seek. I have Seek. I can Seek the Apotheosis. And my deck will be upgraded. I don't hate it. I can remove a strike as well. Pythias is remove a strike. It makes fusion hammer our choice as well. I would do it. It makes fusion hammer a choice. But I'm, I'm always, I'm always. Sick. I gotta upgrade Apotheosis. I was gonna say that I'm always seeking. <laughs> I'm always seeking Echo Form. But if I upgrade Apotheosis, then it's possible, right? Uh. Well. Apotheosis is gonna have his time in the sun. Double Sweeping Beam. Versus Double Darkness. Double Darkness is just. It really is just that good. 
I mean, I wasn't kidding. Double darkness really is just that good. That guy's dead. Five damage, no big deal. For a fight this fast. Um... I can take a little bit more damage and end this guy right here. So what I could do is double streamline, seek, go for the eyes. I can also try to pocket watch back into dual cast. I would take damage. I'll take four damage. By doing this play, I take four damage, which I don't think is necessary. I don't need to take four damage. Glacier static discharge. Now this is interesting because the glacier interferes with my um, darkness stuff, and you'll notice you'll notice I don't have any focus. So darkness is fantastic without the focus; it's not as necessary, and we're kind of blocking mainly with uh, like auto shields and. Weaken and defense, and we're not blocking that great to be honest. I'm taking Glacier, but <sighs> Alright now this is it. It, okay So we have Apotheosis so we can upgrade these apparitions and then we have echo form so we can play them twice But then you gotta ask yourself You could have up to six intangible in a perfect world Also the ability to retain equilibrium and hold on to upgraded apparitions because of apotheosis. These are things that can happen but you're going to have 36 max HP. 35. And, okay, I waste energy and time putting the apparitions into play. And then what am I doing? I'm doing darkness. Yes, with Echo Form, these are pretty strong. But I have real pillow. I'm going I'm to pass. I, I do think those are probably the play. Probably almost always the play, honestly. With like app, with echo form and apotheosis, but man, I forgot to upgrade apotheosis. I forgot to upgrade apotheosis, and it's biting me in the ass. Oh, upgrade the next campfire. I just wanted to save some life because I have to fight. The go for the eyes was unnecessary, but pocket watch wasn't going to mean anything anyways. For what is worth, this, this deck is very strong. Beam so ups, ups my damage up, but I, I think I'm going to stick with the darkness. Alright. Ceramic fish. Now we got to ask ourselves... Uh, is this the Sapphire Key? It might be. Whenever you add a card... So I'm probably going to add like 9, 10 cards max. 9, 10 cards max. Maybe 11. It's 99 gold for 11. 90 with 10 cards. 90 gold. Yeah, I have Apotheosis. So I'm probably going to add more cards, but... By having more cards, I see Apotheosis less often. I see Seek less often. Yada, yada, yada. So we do this first. And now we have a Static Discharge Plus. Ow. Which is very good for this fight. Very good for this fight. That's an echo form. Dual cast. Glacier. Darkness. Cold snap. And I should let him do damage to me, but the damage will come.
And let's go. Oh boy. Why do you want to give me so many echoes? Why do you want to give me so many echoes? Sunder is damage, which we sort of lack. Now I'm, I'm making the, the argument that darkness is my damage. That's all I need. And I don't hate the argument. And echo form shenanigans gets out of control. Alright, we upgrade Apotheosis so that we can forego... Not forego, but bypass that awkward moment. When we draw both that and echo form turn 1. And simply got echo form turn 1. Snipe. Beautiful, and that's very relevant. That changes the RNG. Um, we have double. I can play Echo Form and play now, so here's what I could do. It's a great turn. Yes, I lose the energy, but I have two Echo Forms in play. A fair trade, I would say. My dog is snoring. Yeah, the Sunder was something I really was looking at. I was really looking at it hard. And it's GG. Wow. Centennial Puzzle. Wow. Fantastic relics. Love the card draw. Alrighty. You guys want Pepper Cream? Y'all want a pupper cam? Alright, I'll give it to you in a sec. Static Discharge. I don't know if I even like it with Darkness. I don't really like it. I think Fusion's too bloaty. Recursion for Dark Orbs. Who's a fan of Recursion? I know there's a couple Recursion fans out there like, Man, Recursion, take it, take it, take it. I just don't... Do I have... Recursion, Recursion. Mm, I think Recursion shines a little bit more with Focus, but it also shines in Dark Orb decks. I love that, Red Silver. Exhibit. I heard you like an Echo, so we put an Echo in your Echo, so you can Echo while you Echo. I used to watch Pin My Ride as a kid. I take any of these. Oh, ouch. First damage I've taken in a long time. Well, I'm your moto after all. Um. Yeah, I'm in my late 20s. Oh my god, Echo Form is disgusting, dude. Voice crack. Yeah. Echo Form is so gross. I like the charge battery a little bit here. More energy for more Echo Form stuff. Also, block card. Considering I, uh. Considering I, I don't have focus here. Don't draw into Echo Pharma, we're good. Taking the risk. Even if it's Echo Pharma, it's not a big deal. Double Echo. Uh, 
Uh, we're taking damage regardless this turn. We're taking damage regardless. And this is the part... My deck is suffering a little bit with the... Uh, it's suffering a little bit. For turns like this. But we can make it work. What do we got here? I'm ready. So that just keeps ringing his head at me. It's like, you sure you don't want static discharge? I'm sure. Do we rest, or do we? We have focus pot, and we're, let's say we use focus pot for this fight. Focus pot is just GG, right? Do we say focus pot for the heart, or are we strong enough? Or are we not strong enough for this fight? Like, okay, I was planning to do focus pot for this fight, but I wonder if I save it for the heart. Nah, we we. Well, now I don't really have that many upgrades because I have Apotheosis, right? I could recall. Uh, I could rest or recall. I could recall. If I rest, I can save Focus Pot. If I rest, I can save Focus Pot. Let's use Focus Pot as recall. I gotta use the bathroom. You guys can marvel at the beauty of the Collector and the beautiful throne. Alrighty, let's look for Echo Form. There's I can do streamline and make a streamline cheaper, I can get frost out. Uh, I can't even play darkness. I can't even put I can't get rid of plasma just yet. Oh uh GG. Do I prefer... Trying to, Elo, trying to. Yesterday I fell asleep. Yesterday I went to bed with no in technology or laptop and I just sat in bed just thinking. So I woke up with the zest. When you sit in bed for hours thinking because you have no technology, you can accomplish a lot of... I mean, I should do it more often is what I'm saying. Um, do you prefer orange bell pepper or red bell pepper? I don't, I don't really have a good response for that. Uh, I've had more more red bell pepper in my life. I think I like them both equally. That's my answer. We're out of. Um, I've made up my mind. All right, so I love orange pellets. Now, I want to keep this guy alive. This is troublesome. I'm not sure how I want to play this. Hmm. 
<laughs> I can get pocket watch. I can keep this guy. I can I can let this guy die and then if he resummons, well he resummons. I'll do this. I'll opt for pocket watch here. And now we have some stuff. Cooking with gas. Okay. Double charge battery, double glacier. A lot of things I could do. Double glacier my I don't get as much bang for my buck out of my dark. Um, first and foremost, I want to do this. Now, whether or not I want to double weaken is another story. I don't think I want to get rid of all my dark. Maybe double close up will suffice. Keep some dark. Um, that would suffice for sure. And now we have dark ready to unleash itself. Um, this is awkward. So I can bring back all these goodies, right? And I could have technically held on to Dark Orb for next turn with Equilibrium and just blast away the minions next turn. And I still can. And I will. I think I will. Maybe we hold on to this hand. Blast away the minions. No harm, no foul. And it is GG here. And now we do a cast for the win. Or this. Alright, so that was the power of Focus Pot. And it has been five hours. What's up, 55 Gum? It has been five hours. I am nearing my breakpoint of Spire. Five hours of Spire. What I will say is we accomplished a lot, okay? We accomplished... The humbling experience of being back in the spire when there is no uh, glitches, right? It's very, very dangerous out here. Wow, these are insane. Yeah, I think we'll do some chess, but let's leave this at a nice cliffhanger. Because it has been five hours and I don't want to mess it up. I mean, I could finish the run. Let me see. If we do Runic Pyramid... Hold on to multicast, hold on to darkness. I mean, Runic Pyramid is just really good. But, Inserter. Inserter is interesting. I don't have that much focus. I can try to get a consume. I think I like Runic Pyramid to hold on to my options. What I don't like is that after I use my battery, I'm a 3 energy deck. That's not very good. We get inserter that can be a scaling mechanism with consume, right? If I'm consuming, then we could probably just win the game off that alone. Consume inserter is very strong. Yeah. We'll find a turbo too if we have a. Uh... Yeah, pyramid, we can just get turbo, exactly. That's true. And then we'll leave it here. Or. Let's see it through. We have all the keys, all right? We have all the keys. We're fighting the time meter. So we can choose the amount of leads we want to do. Try to get as many events as possible. To look for Mind Bloom, potentially. So these are Mind Bloom events. And this doesn't even have any lead at all. Just a shop. But I wouldn't mind an elite. So let's, how do we maximize shop and elite? This is events, shop, and a lot of events and an elite. Get one elite out of this. Can we get for two? Can we go for two elites? Let's see. And Equilibrium is now crying in the corner.
Darkness. This is a Darkness deck. And now all we gotta do is multicast. All we gotta do is multicast. Who's ready? Multicast for the win. Cool. Cool head is more frost than card draw. So, like I said, this is a three energy deck. This is a three energy deck when it's all said and done. So, that's going to be card draw on a very bloated Runic Pyramid hand. Like, very bloated. If I get. Turbo, then Cool Headed comes into play. But without Turbo, I don't think I like it. And there's Turbo. Alrighty. We can even take a Focus Pot for the... For the Heart. We can take Capacitor, Turbo, Focus Pot here. Panic Button is very good as well. Turbo, Capacitor, Focus Pot. Capacitor just gives me some... Some more orbs to play with. Plus, when you have Echo Form, powers like Capacitor become quite nice. I like that shop. So this is what we're talking about. We wanted Mind Bloom, we found it. Now if we get the curses, there's one shop here I can remove. So I have to survive two hallway fights of normality and a pyramid hand all right and then i can remove and have a lot of gold yeah i don't know if i can survive two hallway fights of normality in a pyramid deck although my deck is pretty strong what's up keeks and i would have one normality and who's to say i don't get removal from these but it's a lot of gold Deck just rely on Echo Form, so I'm gonna have Echo Form deck with Normality in my hand. Huh. Somehow I don't have the nerf. Somehow I don't have the nerf. Alrighty, so we can multicast now and win. Another glacier. Yeah, that is pretty good. And we have capacitor as well. Let's upgrade capacitor. I have apotheosis. Who needs to upgrade anything at all? Pocket watch. I could have played more cards. Pocket watch is pyramids crying. Hmm. Did I take unnecessary damage? Perhaps I did. Perhaps I did. I'm willing to, I'm willing to admit that maybe I did. Capacitor makes that harder. Ooh, fusion. Right, I'll take a fusion. Now I suddenly want the fusion. I can skip a campfire for a another elite. I can skip a campfire for another elite. The campfire doesn't do that much for me. It upgrades capacitor before apotheosis. Let's skip the campfire. For this. Skip it for this. It's huge.
uh, maffed. <laughs> What'd you ask? You asked uh, cucumber zucchini? You're asking good questions. Uh, I, I've eaten more cucumbers than I've eaten zucchini. Um, I like cucumbers. I haven't had enough zucchinis. Auto shows is crying. Or is it? Is auto shows crying? We win next turn. We win next turn. GG. Multicast wins. Isn't Multicast just an amazing card? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Peace pipe. Oh, we finally got focus. And another turbo. And a buffer. The cards are rolling in. It's only 439 and we're getting offers. Okay. Okay. We got a defrag or a buffer. Interesting. Wow. Well, F me. I'm stumped. I'm going home, guys. I'm going home. Uh, let's ask about fruits. Let's talk about fruits. Buffer is very good for the heart. I'm going for defrag here. Oh, we're the fight in the lead. I might at least focus back for this fight. Just throwing that out there. Should I should I resist the focus back for this fight? The wounds are really rough, guys. Multicast is just so good. Alright. I resist focus by here. If we take some damage, go here, we can rest, and then fight another elite. Hmm. Hmm. So we're looking at 50 damage this turn. I love tangerines. I love tangerines. How much block do I have? When defrag this becomes... I want to do a defrag with Equiform, but... Let's say I do de defrag now. Looking at 14 block. 14 plus... Uh, another 4 is 18. 18 plus 10. 28 plus another 10 is 38. 38 block, we're taking 12. Um, we're taking 12, but we have Regal Pillow, right? So we could take 12 damage. Uh, the problem with that is that defect doesn't become twice. Pepi Stone. Pe Pepi Stone. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. I'm taking 12. Thank you, Pizza Monster. Pepis. Pepis. Twelve it is. I'm taking even more because I did the math wrong. I wonder if I waste duplication, but if I'm taking more than twelve. I, I forgot that with Cold Snap dual cast. I'm taking uh, seventeen. We could try to um, nine. You guys can see. Let me try to move. How do I avoid this? I mean, it's only this right that this happens, right? Unless my camera's like this. Is anybody's camera ever that small? 
That's unusual, right? Darkness dual cast. Double echo. I can't afford to echo here. I can do double strike. Glacier, go for the eyes. And this guy, sort of a nuisance. Yeah, I know I echo like crazy, but I need um, energy. I don't have turbo. All my good cards in the bottom. I don't have turbo or apotheosis drawn. Um, if I do darkness. And then I duplicate. The glacier. Let's say I don't duplicate the glacier. Let's say for some reason. Save capacitor for after apotheosis. Are we worried about? Keeping the strike is actually pretty good because I need to kill these minions, right? So we can do double glacier or double capacitor. There's a lot of things we can do. We can do double turbo, for instance. Double turbo is insane as well. is this turn. This turn's not even a problem. I need to focus on damage on her, but I'll, here's what I'm going to do. I want to hold on to my weakening here. I should have, I knowing that I had no block, I should just focus on her. That's my bad. Double streamline, double glacier. Ah, uh, interesting. I could do streamline and double glacier. Um, but now we're on dark. Dark Spikes, thanks for the first prime, man. Welcome to the Dream Pool. We need Dark in play. Multicast exists. Multicast exists.
It's a lot of wounds. I, uh... I hold on here. Oh, double, double glacier is kind of bug. It allows me to do some pog things. Let's bring a pillow. Let's bring a pillow. Sure. I'm down. Courier. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm just lethal. So, electrodynamics is interesting for Donor Decca. Electrodynamics for Donor Decca. Even though we're doing some darkness stuff, do I mind Electro for Donor Decca? E and also for Act 4 Elite. Electro for Act 4 Elite. Yeah, we're Donor Decca. There's also this, which is for the Heart's attack, or. Sorry, for the Heart's vulnerable, or for potential bias coming out of my butt. Electro didn't get one fight to go, yeah. Electro still has some play in Act 4 Elite as well as the that Donor Decca. I just don't know if it's that important because Darkness can probably take care of Donor Decca as well as the Act 4 Elite. Darkness can do the same thing. Although it was a little bit awkward getting there. So I think I take Hologram and actually remove. Although, okay, this this souvenir is pretty pog. If I can stop the vulnerable on the heart, yeah. If I can stop a vulnerable on the heart, I mean. That's a little late. This fight's rough. That doesn't have to be rough. I just need to get Echo Forms ASAP. And there they are. However, I can't play both of them. Turbo? <laughs> this guy is such a dick. If we don't play Echo Forms at all, do we bin this fight? No, we don't, right? I need to play one echo from at least. Hmm. Gone are the days of needing plasma. I wouldn't be so fast to say that. Maybe. Maybe so. I can get a lot of frost, right? Double darkness. So we're fully orbed out. It's six times six, which is thirty-six. I can get a fusion in there. Does it remind me of Echo Farm? Yeah, it does. See? This guy is just a bully at the end of the day. Just a big fat bully.
Double energy. Is that bloaty? It feels a little bloaty. But I don't know. We had a turn where we had Echo Form. Echo Form. And couldn't play it. And now we only have one turbo in the deck. Mm. It's a little bloaty. Hydration, Aiden, Tosh, what's up? Hydration! Is Shimon met his time? <laughs> or is Dwarkash left met his time? Dwarkash or Streamline, guys? You guys are done. With, you guys are done with Shimlin. You guys are like, well, it's done its job. It's really cruel, guys. You guys don't. You guys are just dumping it out there. What about Shimlin against the uh, X Four Elites? Yeah, I can't even convince myself. Let's start toking at the next campfire. Now, there's. A now here, I have a question, guys. We could do another Elite, or we could toke. So this elite may do damage, and if it does damage, well, yeah, the streamline would have been very nice. Imagine a zero cost streamline and playing twice. That's forty-two damage. Forty-two damage for uh, for zero with echo form. That's insane. Now this is going to be the nemesis or the giant head. The point is, I want to fine. I'm doing the elite. Give me a card draw. Guys, the truth is, Echo Farm is broken. Oh my lord. It's disgusting. Echo form is gross. Y'all want to see lethal or darkness? Who's ready? Oh my god, you guys are not ready. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to echo form, echo form. We're going to do double energy, double energy, multi -cat. Oh my... Alright, so let's set up lethal here. And that requires double energy, double energy, cold snap, cold snap, multicast. All right, GG. Check this out, guys. Check this out. <laughs> well, spicy. Ooh, a motion chip. Well, that was worth it. Ooh, that was worth it. Let's toke. Let's toke. Before I remove strike, let me think. Look. Yeah, let's toke. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, damage. Damage alert. Twenty-two. <laughs> okay, solved, and now we just scale, scaling. But I need a, I need a draw. Guys, the point is I need a draw. Uh oh.
Uh, draw. And you free up hand space. I just want to draw a capacitor and I'm good. Yay! Wait, do I want to take da damage here? There's no need to take damage here, right? Yay! Now we go Dark Orb and press E turn. Dark Orb, Dark Orb, and turn. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. I took damage. I blame Pizza Monster. If I die... I had a weekend this whole time. Wow, I just like fell asleep at the wheel. Um, we're not gonna die, right? We're not gonna die this next fight, right? There's no way. There's no way we die this next fight. I have lethal here, so what I need to do is... I have lethal. So now I need a hologram, multi cast, and then dual cast, and GG. Took so much extra damage. Oh my god! I stopped paying attention for one second. I stopped paying attention for one second, and all of a sudden, Please, don't, don't, don't tell me I die here because of that. Oh my god, it's an awakening one of all things. It's an awakening one of all things, man. One second. I need to see turbo for a multicast turn. Um. I need good darkness so I can kill these things. I don't have echo form. I need a safe turbo here. This multicast could probably save me, right? 34. Oh, I can't believe I got lazy for one second. This isn't necessary, actually. And I wonder if we actually just get defrag capacitor out, or just defrag out now. I get capacitor out now, I can hold on to my plasma. And then I can play darkness, but then how do I proc darkness? I don't have echo from play. I like having this like this because then I can actually do some multicast shenanigans. But we need to kill these minions more than anything. I also want to bring Glacier back. 
I also want Turbo back. So I want Glacier back and Turbo back. I wish I had Echo Form. I could take one damage deliberately here, but I'm already drawing max hand size. Killing these coldest is a pretty big priority. You know what would help me with that? Streamline. But so would Darkness. But I don't want to lose my Plasma. But if I have Capacitor, then how do I actually get to the Darkness in time without Echo from Glacier? There's multicast shenanigans to get a lot of energy to do Hologram on Glacier and then play Glacier twice. And then you can do things. And where's the dual cast? Dual cast is there. Alright. It might be a Capacitor play. Might be. So we're taking 34. Alright, it might be a Capacitor play here. Just to get extra plasma, but maintain the multicast shenanigans. And what if I don't draw that? So I'm currently blocking for 22, and I'm taking 36. If I do this, all right. If I do hologram, oh, this blocks for 32. I'm taking four. Puts me right in the range. Fentano puzzle. If I play defrag, I block for extra four, but I take an extra two. So right now I'm short four. This gives me four, but then I take exactly two damage. But then I give the guy six strength. I give him six strength against the uh, multi attack turn. But darkness gets skilled quicker. So this is going to be a turn where multicast. I didn't draw into um, Glacier though. I didn't draw into Glacier, but this is the multicast turn I was talking about. So I can dual cast, double energy, play all my echo forms, and then like theoretically multicast enough frost to survive. So let's say right now it's 70 damage, right? So if I do the math, can I afford... The dual cast. Sorry. I need multi cast for the frost, yeah? To save life. So I dual cast double energy. Let's take a look at that first. Um, nine, nine, 18 energy. Let's say I spend six of that 18 energy to do two echo forms. This makes this become um, 16 times 4. Which is going to be an extra 16 damage. 86. I currently have 12 block. And after that, I'm going to have 12 energy. If I do 12 energy, make that 13. 13 times 7 is 91. It's full block. And now... I have both Echo in play. And should be winnable. I have to block 48 every time you're doing multi attacks, though. 48. <laughs> but I'll have a lot of glaciers. I only have two focus. I could use focus part here, but. Sixty-four every time he does multi attack. Sixty-four is a lot. I had to block for sixty-four, and in a perfect world, they say I'm all frost out of my mind. Capacitor and defects already played. I can't seal up any further. Sixty-four. He's gonna be weakened. Let's say we maintain weaken. With the weaken, it's like forty-eight. Forty-eight. So this is gonna be. Say I have uh, five frost. Okay, twenty block. I need a block for twenty-eight, which is possible. Now the question is, these dudes, we'll get around to them. All right, let's execute it. I 
I did my math right, right? A block for a uh, 12 plus uh, 90, 91. We're fine. I could hologram glacier stuff. We did our math correct. So, um, we can multicast this boss as well. What's important is that we keep him weakened. One way to keep him weakened is to do it twice. But this is an important turn because this turn needs to activate darkness. And lo and behold, it's activated. We get him twice. And now it's me versus your six uh, versus your forty-eight. And I like these odds. Put this out of my hand because it's So I want to maintain as much defense as possible. Forty-eight. So me versus a forty-eight. It's doable. So all I gotta do is block for thirty-two, right? Two defenses do that already. Two defenses do that already. If I add a fusion into the mix, it makes the multicast darkness a bigger win condition. The problem is now I have to survive the next phase. <laughs> which is also a lot that's a lot of strength for the next phase. That's a lot of strength for the next phase. And this is really dubious. I should have waited for defrag and capacitor and all that stuff. So at least I have more orb slots, more focus. If I, if I held off in those things, I would... The next phase is what's really scary. That's why we set up lethal with the next phase with dark warp. So the next phase never even exists. Ah! Problem. Next phase. Solution. Dark warp. Okay. Now we have it a solution. So we want to do a two-turn back-to-back lethal. Keep hologram in hand. Um, okay. I just gotta map this out. It's a uh, free win, free win, free win, free win. We have two turn lethal here, right? Multi cash shenanigans. So let's just. Uh, let's get this darkness forward. Glacier does the job. Uh. We need, actually we need, <laughs> we actually need fusion. And the reason why I want fusion is because fusion allows us to do multicasts. I think the perfect setup is double fusion, double dark orb, two frost in front, right? And then we set up, no, it has to be fusion, dark orb, fusion, dark orb. To really set up two turn lethal. And that's complicated. Fusion, dark orb. It's possible. Let's make it happen. If it's possible, let's make it happen. Fusion Dark Orb again. Oh, I, I have to do it all over again. Damn it, I got distracted. We have to do it all over again now. 
There's a better solution for this. There's a better solution. There's a better solution, yeah? I need hologram. I can get a hologram here. I have an idea. Hmm. Strike this guy to death. I could strike it to death and then save it for next phase, it's true. I uh, decided to opt for this, which is killing it now, and then just setting it up for the next phase. Because we have, we have more than enough block. Is that naive of me? I think we have more than enough block if I just kill him now, and we set it up for next phase. Just kill it now, and then... With, with double glacier, we have enough block, and we can and we can set up um, pretty quickly. Although the glaciers make it awkward. Do we have? Do we really have more than enough block? Now I'm doubting myself. Yeah, we do. We do. So there's the darkness, right? That's what we want it to look like. We want it to look like that. Now we hologram the multicast. First we don't die. It'd be nice if we don't die here. We have 12 block. Uh, 40 block in hand. 40 block in hand plus 7 to 12 plus 40 47 59 59 take one damage set up lethal with multicast flesh wound that helps skill up the darkness. It's perfect, actually. We don't even need hologram. We just win right now. Easiest fight of my life. I was sweating bullets. Alrighty, so... This is what the defects are cool though, guys. Defects like like you're setting up lethal, you know, like it's very cool. It's a very cool class. Defects a very cool class. But you know what really sets it up is Runic Pyramid also sets it up. Without Runic Pyramid, it wouldn't feel the same. It's Runic Pyramid that's a cool relic. This is a really cool relic. It always is. This drastically changes how you play the game. It completely changes how decks work. Toke auto shots at this point. So there's 13 HP I can get. I could toke auto shields. I could toke a strike. The auto shield still blocks at the end of the day. I mean, it's still 17 block. Well, I, I did use Dick's already pot. Well, yeah, I, I praise Pyramid all the time. The Pyramid is amazing. I take it all the time. But I was just like, that was a really cool fight. That fight was so cool. And it was cool because Pyramid allowed me to, like, you know, play my cards in a specific way. Um, Autoshot still blocks at the end of the day, so I'm good, Marcino. I think I want to remove Strike. 
But 13 life is 13 life, right? If removing strike means I see echo form, apotheosis, seek, all these good things that much sooner. I think we remove a strike here. That's 13 life, guys. 13 life versus a strike. I made a choice. Fission. Well, duplication pot. Duplication pot it is, yeah? Good luck, lads. May the best man win. We got Seek. Man, this is a strong turn. I got Seek. I want to show you what, guys, I didn't use technology last night, so let me show you what I was doing real quick. What I was doing is, I have these positions, right? These openings that have been... I've been fleshing out for the things that I'm learning through engines. So I would, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see, can you guys see? I wanna show you guys this. The point is, oh Lord. All right, I'll do it in a sec. I'll do it in a sec, because it's not... Uh, let's focus on this fight. Basically, I was like, trying to visualize boards up to move eight, and then draw out the visualization, and then that would be like my way of memorizing these different variations. Because I was trying to occupy my mind. It was kind of cool. Um... All right. Okay. Alrighty. So turbo exists, yeah? What's funny about this is that <laughs> this turn, I can make it so that I can seek <sighs> twice in the next turn so that I could not only full block but then have the other echo form but I think I'm okay with this doing this immediately and instead of doing triple I'm thinking double energy although double energy has a higher ceiling the problem is I want to seek defrag in echo form again for the future I also want to say block for next turn I'm not guaranteed to get blocked next turn so I actually want to make sure I block for precisely 32. Precisely 32. So right now I have 10 block. In order to block for 32, I need to block for 22. Charge battery is 10. So I need to block for 12. Glacier is blocking for 7 plus 11. I take 2 damage. Okay, I take two damage. That's perfect. So I actually want to play Glacier before... <laughs> this is tricky. Before Apotheosis. Alright. And then... I play charge, uh, Apotheosis Charge Battery Echo Form. I want to save this for next turn though, right? Ugh, no. So we're blocking for exactly 31, taking two damage, we're drawing more. I could do this while they don't have block, but if I draw echo form, it doesn't matter, right? I can get out a curse, it's perfect. And now we have double echo form and the World is our oyster and baby boy. Tell me it ain't so. I want this back. I want that back. I want. I want to play darkness.
Getting hit is uh was important for some type of puzzle. But emotion chip is also not bad. But you're asking about the energy? The energy because emotion chip stuff. Alright, math. 44. Uh, I currently have 21. 23. Let's look for 23. 23 block. That's not 23 block. Fine. 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 Double capacitor. Double auto shield. <laughs> Double glacier. I actually make my life harder because if I didn't do capacitor, which I made a mistake, I should have done capacitor, I get energy. The energy allows me to block again and then turn my back. So I actually messed up. Capacitor was a mistake. I needed the energy, so I don't take damage here. Uh, well, the damage is already done. How many more? I did double capacitor, double glacier. I could do double darkness, zap, defend, defend. All right, well, we have focus spot for the heart, so I'm not worried. Um, I want to get dark in the front because of multicast. Multicast, multicast. And there she blows. I could have saved a lot of life there. That's my bad. Another double energy. Double energy is pretty powerful, huh? Does it bloat me though? No, I could have played that so that I actually take a lot less damage on that turn. However, I made a mistake. It happens. Another double energy or is that too much? Strike to turn would save, save more? Yes, it would have saved more life. Absolutely. So that was another mistake. But without the mistakes, it doesn't seem glorious when you win with 40 HP. Uh, let's take a look at one more double energy to help declog my hands. And there's a world where Void is a menace. I like the way my deck performs. Whoa! Who wants to do double Echo Form right off the bat? So Apotheosis double Echo Form? End turn. Right? And then, that should be good enough, right? That sounds good. That sounds great. I think it does. Oh, no vulnerable. No vulnerable, no frail. No vulnerable, no frail. Ah. I even got more weakens. Oh my god, it's GG. Oh my god, it's GG. Oh! Where's Turbo? Alright, we don't need to do Echo Form now. It doesn't have to be done now. It doesn't have to. Double hologram, double glacier. How much the block is that? Math time. But I actually do want to play. <laughs> I do want to get awake. Oh, uh, go for the eyes back. So I want to play a card before I play that. Before I play double. But I don't have energy because of void. So if I do double hologram, um, six block. Plus um, 16 block, 22, 
22 plus an extra 16. 22 plus 16 is uh, 38. So we don't get go for the ads, unfortunately, but what can I say? There's more where that came from. And now Luca doesn't exist. So I want to do double echo form. And I don't want to proc into an impossible just yet. So I'll double defense. Another echo form. And surely four echoes should be enough. You never know. We can did not get reapplied. And here comes the disaster. Cold snap. And we darkness for damage. And we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. Alright, twenty. So we take some damage, which could be useful. Because by taking damage, plasma gets enacted. Darkness gets enacted. So I take at the price of three three damage. Darkness gets better. Plasma gets better, and I don't have to block at first, right? Because I got Frost for motion chip. Now, I have a lot of cards in my hand. I don't like that. <laughs> now, of course, I want to double defrag. Once I get double defrag, the game's over. I'm doing this. I liked it a lot, Sword Fingers. I really liked it a lot. I I'm down to finish it. Alright. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Okay, cool. 40. We're currently at 52 block. We can afford to do some nonsense. AKA. Now we're, now we're at uh, 48 block. We're at 48 block, so let's go ahead and do... Double zap. A more strike for more damage. A little defense. Now we work up some multicast shenanigans with dark to get damage cap. So you know what that means? Get a move on. It means get a move on. First damage got breached. It's a lot of block. Imagine calibers. Double weaken. We could. Speaking for the rest of his life. Um, we're not taking any damage here, but I want to reach damage cap yet again. So I will. We're still not taking damage here. And now oh we take some damage forever. That's perfect. Who cares? And now that's a motion ship. I mean, it's, it's even it's even it's even ideal. And now we multicast for the win, right? Yeah, lightning can win. Actually, I can't win this turn. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, now let's set up lethal. Howdy ho. This just works as well. <laughs> That's 14 times 4. But it's cooler with darkness, right? Like, it's a lot cooler when darkness does it. So we're going to let Darkness do it next turn. 
It's only right. Ocean ship's disgusting. Alrighty, GG. Alrighty, GG. Alright, so we readjusted. We're ending with a two streak. Tomorrow's a new day. We readjusted. Hopefully, tomorrow we hit the 5 0 mark. Hope we don't forget the readjustments. Alrighty.